Let's go. Coconut. 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 See? Coconut. So I filled up the dog bed with Orbeez after I was done crafting with them. I don't know why, but it feels so comfortable. What happened to your doggy bed? Did I fill it with Orbeez? Did I fill your doggy bed with Orbeez, Miss Mango? No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Coconut, you wanna go into the bed with Orbeez? Oh. Coconut, don't eat any. <laughs> Do you like your bed full of Orbeez? How's it feel? How's that make you feel? <laughs> Coconut. Coconut. Hi, baby. Is it like a massage? Is it like a massage, Coconut? <laughs> Is it like a massage with Orbeez? <laughs> Don't have enough to fill the whole tub, but it's still like three inches worth of Orbeez. All right, Coconut. Coconut! 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 Hi, Coconut! 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 I know this is how dogs play with each other, but this is violent. I mean, look at Coconut. She's so vicious. Would have known such a tiny, fluffy little thing can be so vicious. We are traveling again. We're going to go to Nice with a pit stop to New York City first. stayed in New York City for an evening as a pit stop before we head over to the south of France, but I love eating the food in New York City. We're going to start off with heading towards Nice first for our European trip, and luckily I have a pretty amazing brother who helped us upgrade. So we got to check out some of the lounges in the airport, and we got to sit business class on the way there, which is really nice, like really, really nice. Here's the swag that they gave me. If you fly American Airlines, they have these Cole Haan amenity kits. And inside the amenity kits have what you see here, some stuff, eye patches. I actually didn't use anything from the amenity kit, um, but I think it's cute. It's kind of like, I don't know, a gift bag. And then you get your own personal TV. And if you push this button right here, it like pops out. Pretty interesting. You got a little leg room so that if you want to lay flat, you can. So I put some stuff here, but if I wanted to, I can lift my legs up and lay flat. It's really spacious compared to economy. I don't know if any of you guys flown economy internationally. It's kind of crazy. And 
you get a personal remote, a light, just a lot of space that you wouldn't normally get in economy. So really expensive just to buy, but really comfortable overall. We had a short layover in London in the Heathrow Airport and look at these really cute Coca-Cola cans. They're so tiny and petite. I never see this in America. Anyways, we eventually make it to Nice and Nice is just so pretty. What is this sign about? No idea. I don't think you're supposed to sit on them. Alright, honey, you think your best? Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to sit on you them. You think it's to wash your hands? I think it's to wash your butt. I think I'm gonna win. I don't <laughs> think you wanna bet. I don't think you're supposed to sit on that. Unlike the US, everything in Europe is really old and has a lot of character. We spent a lot of our time in Nice eating a lot of the local food there. The food there is just really, really amazing. spotted a McDonald's. Every time we go internationally and see McDonald's, we like to check it out and see what they have that the U.S. doesn't have. I love this system. I've never seen you order food from like a kiosk before. So you just kind of have a touch screen and you kind of press and order your food and then once you pay it just kind of comes up at the counter, which I think is really neat. And they do have different sandwiches that I've never seen before, so we tried them all out. Of course, you can't go to France without eating a crepe, so we definitely had a lot of desserts there. During the day, they have really cute markets that kind of open up that have different souvenir shops that you can buy some stuff, including fresh flowers, and they also have a food market so you can buy some cheeses, meats, fruits, and things like that. I love the flowers in France. They're so pretty and so affordable compared to the US. I ended up getting a bouquet and this cost like $10, which I can't remember the last time I bought a bouquet that looks this nice for $10 in the US. So pretty, I ended up taking with me to my next stop. Jasmine's my favorite. This old city just has a lot of character in it. Even though there's a lot of things that are run down, there's something about it that just has a special type of personality that you just would never see in the US. And we did a lot of sightseeing. It's just a really beautiful place to be. And of course, the view of the water is absolutely stunning. We actually were in Europe during the time of Carnival and Fashion Week, so of course the nightlife in Nice was really crazy and we decided to check out some of the things there. On our last 
last day, we decided to take the train to Milan, and this train station is just beautiful. It actually reminds me of the Harry Potter train station, where you're supposed to find nine and three quarters and run into a wall. It really has that kind of essence to it. It's just a beautiful train station, and it was a great way to see the other parts of Nice that we didn't have time to sightsee through. We love the city, but we of course miss our dogs at home. So here are some clips of what our dogs were doing in America while we were away. Look at Mango! See! Oh, look at him! Mango! <laughs> 